Hi, this is Tim with Bird Appliance. Today we got a pretty simple repair. Uh, just looking at an agitator that's not working properly. You may have noticed that your clothes, the washer is agitating, but this top portion just doesn't seem to catch. Normally it should catch. It's held, held uh, in place by what are called agitator dogs. Uh, what you need to do to get this working again is get inside this machine, right in here inside the agitator. Uh, real simple repair. You can try to pry this off with your fingers. Sometimes it comes off. Otherwise, you can just use a flathead screwdriver. And you'll see a protecting plastic bit. You just want to get in there with your pliers. Pull that out. It should be funky. You can clean that when you're done to keep water and moisture out. And last, you'll see typically a 716 nut in the middle that's going to hold the entire agitator in place. We only are concerned about the top part, but you'll do that to remove it. So you'll need an extended ratchet piece. Sometimes this comes off by hand. Other times you may need to actually use the ratchet. Just hold the agitator down at the bottom in place if you need to. That should come off. You can go ahead and leave the agitator in place. It's just got one little piece that needs to stay there. Every model is a little bit different, but this is generally the way they work. That should come out like that. You're going to remove this little gasket or whatever you want to call it. There's your screw. Don't lose the rubber washer. This one's a little crusty. There went one of them. Anyway, you can see these are all smoothed off. You just need to get these four out. Alright, so these are the old ones. You can see one of them broke, so make sure you get all the junk out. Here's one of the little plastic guys right here. There we go. We'll get that out. And then you want to just make sure you put them back in the right way. Here's the right way, which was the same way that you saw them. You can see, you can see the teeth. And that's the right way. And that should help you grab the right way. Now if you're in here looking and uh, you notice the agitator was not holding very well to the spindle, you can lift this whole piece out. And there's also uh, some tines on the inside. If those are worn out, that'll be the cause for the entire piece not, not moving correctly. There could be things underneath, but you can always pull this out and check and see if those are smooth. And we'll pull it out right now and show you real quick. hard to see down in there but you'll want to check those splines see if they're uh, in good shape in this case you might have some of this stuff on here this is just old soap funk but it's not gonna hurt anything um, if you do have a GE older GE style washer we're gonna show you another video that you can go to to learn how to get this piece off if you need to change that out um, they're just a slightly different model but anyway put this back on the same way it's keyed This little guy just holds all your dogs in place. You get this here, make sure it's on this side, everything lines up. Before you drop that in, put your bolt back in. Just make sure it all looks nice and lined up. When you're putting it on, there's going to be two pegs here. Look inside your own piece here. 
You'll see some holes. Make sure those line up properly. That just seats it in place. And we're going to go ahead and put that down. It'll be keyed as well, so that'll help you know how to get it in right. That one looks pretty good. Alright, now all you need to do is line your bolt back up and tighten it on. Now the thing with this is it's a rubber washer. Don't get aggressive. If you over tighten this washer it's going to snap. It's going to bend and water is going to leak in. So you just want to get it pretty snug. Maybe a half turn, a quarter turn past what you normally can hand tighten it at. It's getting tough, so just give it about a quarter turn. Put this guy back on. And put your lid back on. And you can test it to make sure you did it right. It should catch. And that's how it works normally. Thanks again. This is Tim with Bird Appliance.